Hello. I'm going to talk today about the qualitative quantitative debate in psychology. I've spoken about this before and probably will again because this is one that has always and will always run through psychology. What I'm going to do specifically today is just illustrate both types of research um, and how they approach a related um, research question, which in this case is to explore homophobia and its effects. So the first study I'm going to talk about was by uh, Bergen, Gander and Von Kerthy, published in 2006, and it's a qualitative study. It involved unstructured interviews of a very small sample, just five participants, about their experiences uh, as a gay adult in the workplace. And what they found was that certain themes emerged for all the participants. All participants talked about kind of the same things, in other words. And these included uh, the experience of discrimination in the workplace, but also difficulties in, in coming out to colleagues, managing um, gay-straight friendships um, at work as well. Now, the point about this study is it was a study of people's personal experiences and the personal meaning those experiences had for them. You can't do that with numbers. This really did require a quant uh, qualitative approach and, uh, and that's what worked well. Another study published in the same year um, was a quantitative one by uh, Cohen Ross and this one was a, a large scale questionnaire study. So around 1300 people were, uh, were surveyed. And on this occasion, what they were interested in was differences in the frequency and severity of stress and mental health problems uh, between um, straight adults, gay adults and bisexuals. Now, what they found was significantly more stress and more mental health problems, uh, slightly different problems in the, the gay and bisexual groups, but a higher incidence in those than amongst the straight participants. Now, that is a comparison of levels of frequency. It calls out, it desperately cries out for numbers. That one was conducted as a quantitative study and had to be given its research aim. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm getting at, what I'm going to propose based on these two studies, this is a lovely illustration of how we need both. There isn't a good, but good guy and a bad guy here. We, we need um, quantitative research to explore difference, levels of difference, degrees of difference, where differences are. We also need qualitative research to, to tease out the more subtle things, personal meanings of events for people, uh, for example. Um, and a, a battle, as it sometimes ends up being, between qualitative and quantitative researchers is as futile as a battle between men and women. We need both. We should value both.